Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you a Leaf Jacker web app dashboard which is created by using the Google Sheet as a database and Google Web Apps script. Okay, so as of now, you can able to see in the employees sheet, we have the two user roles, the admin two types, the admin and the user. So let's we check out this. So first of all, I am going to log in here as the admin and click on this sign in. On the other hand, I am going to log in as the employee. For example, this Sara.ahmad. Okay. Now I just paste it here and I just copy this password and paste it here and click on this sign in. So when I click on this sign in, as of now, you can able to see I am successfully logged in as here the Sara Ahmed and here as the admin. Okay, now hope you can understand this very perfectly. Okay, so before uh, moving to the video further, I will uh, tell you uh, quickly uh, the features that we have, the leave records, leave credits, messaging feature, uh, like we have previous videos of Suite 129 for the web app chat. So you can easily chat. Now we have integrated this module in this particular web application and uh, manage users and change password facility. So admin and users both are working uh, with each other. So first of all, I am start explaining to the uh, admin because admin and user functionality is almost same uh, in the leave management, but for some specific uh, roles have uh, the admin access okay so as of now in the admin you can able to see uh, when you select a particular employee so you can able to see this particular employee get two leaves uh, one leave in this Muharram category and one leave in this casual category so how you can add the uh, categories in your web application it's easy I will explain you in this video further you can also apply the filters year wise or the month wise as well so if you select any other user, for example, I just select here the Aisha Khan. Okay. So as of now, you can able to see this particular uh, employee get the 91 leaves in this maternity uh, category. Okay. Now go to the leave records. In the leave records, we have uh, the, all the information, the all the leaves requests submitted by the employees or by the users. The admin have right to approve pending approved on hold or disapproved okay so i will explain you with example so in this section in this session uh the leave credits working with the leave records what does the, uh, what does the, your mean sir so i will explain you you can see here uh this is a employee portal sara Emma. this is a user you can see here this is a user so as of now you can able to see this is a user and user can able to see their own data, their own leaves in category wise. In the leave records, they can able to see their own data, their own submitted applications, their own submitted requests. In the leave credits, they have checked their available leave credits. What does this leave credit mean? I will explain you with example. I just come here in the leave records and click on this add leave record. So when I click on this add leave record, you can able to see I have the 10 available leave credits. Okay, so I just select here a particular category like emergency and just select here uh, the two days date and just select here the 15. Okay, so as of now, the total days is about uh, to the 10 days. You can see here I have selected the 10 days required 10 days leaves and uh, enter here description if I want uh, testing, I want a uh, testing. And click on this submit request so when i click on this submit request as of now you can able to see the request is going to be submitted and it's going to be successfully submitted within two to three seconds the data is going to be updated in your list in your drop down or in your data table okay now it's all okay now when you go to your admin section in the leave records you just need to click on this refresh record so as of now you can able to see in today's day this Sara Ahmed applied a leave for this particular date to till day. So I can easily because this leave comes because this leave comes from the leave credits. So I can easily approved on hold or disapproved. I just select here the approved and click on this yes approved. So when I click on this yes approved as of now status updated to the approved you can see in the toast notification. Okay, now I come here and again refresh my data uh, if you don't refresh your data it will allow automatically refresh your data in five seconds okay so you can see here 
your name is going to be successfully approved uh, uh, approved so i have in the video starting i have tell you a messaging feature we have a messages feature we can uh, talk to the admins uh, via in app chat feature okay so uh, in what cases the chat feature is usable okay now you can see here we have the 10 credits available leave credits and we have successfully utilized now for example if i have an emergency leave you can see here in the overview in the emergency section this user this particular user get the leave okay now the annual leave okay now go to your leave records and click on this add leave records so in the emergency section okay in emergency we have uh, getting the leave from 5 to uh sam okay now the required days is required days is three and we have insufficient credits because we have allowed only 24 leaves per year and we have utilized our all credits we don't have the credit set now it's a emergency leave so in this case you go to your messages section in the messages section you can see here select admin to chat we have only two admins the admin one and the admin two we just come here and Muhammad Hassan Khan because we have uh, login here as a Muhammad Hassan and uh, you can see here we just select here. Now I will request them. Uh, I need three days leave for health issues. Okay, and click on this send. So when you click on this send, this message is going to be sent it to the admin. Okay, now when you come here, you can see here one message is successfully received from our particular user okay when you go to your leave credits and click on this messages you can able to see a message received from this particular user so when you select this particular user you can able to see this uh, i have sent it this message two times okay so you can see here this message is received so now this is a sara ahmed user okay we have also a feature for search messages also the search user like you can see here uh, we have also the search users and search messages so if my mind is okay to provide the leave so what i can do i just uh, remember this particular name and go to my leave credits and you can see here the sara ahmed leave credits is zero okay i just uh, click on this add or update credits and select the employee and add the credits three and click on this save credits so when i click on this save credits as of now the leave credits updated successfully so you can see here the three credits is going to be the added okay now when we go to this uh, leave records and play uh, leave credits you can able to see uh, the three leave credits is available in your request and click on this uh, add leave record so you can easily able to see the three leave credits you can get the three leaves in the, with these leave credits okay now this is okay and uh, in the last in the admin section the extra feature we have uh, because the admin approves the data from the users and in the manage users they can easily able to manage the admin and users add users edit users or update the user when you click on this edit icon you can also so one thing you can also add the profile picture you can simply click on this camera icon and select any picture you want to add and upload them so your profile picture is going to be uploaded here and uh, this is a uh, here's a refreshing time taken one second so you can see here this uh, image is, is refreshes every one second so it will won't be displayed so this is a google sheet uh, urls and it's not available right now so first of all i am i will show you how you can add i just select here and click on this choose file i hope so i have any image in my section no i don't have any image I just come here and uh, it has I just here the employee icon okay when I select here the employee icon and I just copy this uh, I just save this image to the desktop and uh, click on this save so now go to here and select from the desktop this particular image okay that this is the PNG file and click on this open and click on this upload image so when I error uh, in the file Google APIs or Drive, okay, what we need to do, we'll just come here and click on this turn executions and again, click on this upload image. So when I click on this 